Welcome to DOS Geek. I am so excited to share this with you guys. You may already know it, but I didn't, and I'm excited about it. So this thing I'm excited about is called Lutris. Look how cool this is. So I was out there researching Electron based on the guests we had on the Destination Linux podcast, and I came across this in the search options, and I was blown away. I was like, I should have known somebody in Linux was already figuring this out because people in Linux figure out everything. But if you have games from, say, Steam, you have games from GOG, you have Humble Bundle games, you have local open source games, then you probably have those games installed all over the place. And you may even forget some of those games are around until you're going through your menu and you see it there. But this looks to solve that. So what is Lutris? Lutris is an open source gaming platform for GNU Linux. It allows you to gather and manage, install, configure, and launch all your games acquired from any source in a single interface. And it is cool. So what you can see here is some of the games that I have currently installed on my machine from Steam, also from GOG, and local games as well, all installed here. Like Abe's Adventure is a local open source game that I just grabbed right off the software store. In addition to this, it has all of the emulators and Wine interfaces. So if you have games that you play in Wine, etc., you can launch them all from here. You can even install the games from here. So for instance, if I go to Lutris, I go in and I go to my GOG account and I let's say I, I want to install FTL. So I download the file here, I just click it, it downloads into an SH file. So to install this normally, you'd go into your terminal, you would type SH in the path of the download, and it would go and install. It's not very difficult, but if you're afraid of the terminal, maybe not the most user-friendly either, but that's how you do it currently. Well, with Lutris, you can actually install it right here from their website if you want, once you install the program. You can just go down over here to games, and they have tons of, of them in here that you can install or will help you install along with all the emulators and everything else. So let's look up Faster Than Light. And there it is, a native Linux game, and I wanna install it from GOG, no problem. I just go ahead and click Install, open XDG, and it's gonna say launch the game or install the game again. I'm gonna go install the game again. We're gonna choose GOG. Then this is the directory that it's gonna throw all of the games under this home dosky games. Go ahead and install it, and it's gonna ask where is that download at? So I'm gonna go up here, I'm going to choose the GOG SH file, click continue. It's going to go do all the work for me, install this game, and I'm going to be able to play it. So let's go to FTL now that we reinstalled, and boom, there you go. There's FTL. We can start playing right away. The same thing works with the software store. So if I go into the software store, I have some open source games that I want to play. Uh, we'll pick one here. Let's see. This faster than light looks good. It's got five stars, 137 reviews. Oh, installing stuff in Linux is so difficult. You like have to click a button and click install. We were reading a comment about somebody saying Linux was sloppy. Okay, so now that game's there. It's installed. We've exited out. Now we can exit out of this Lutris here. And when we relaunch it, guess what's going to be there for us? There it is. So it's taking all of the games that I have installed on the machine, putting them into a single place. And this will also make even installing wine games easier. And of course, if you do emulations, which I can't show because my video will get flagged because it's kind of in the gray area, you could do all of that through here as well. It just makes something that's already meant to make your life easier wine and makes it even that much easier to install those games. And there's so many here if we take a look at their games, and of course you have forums and support there. I mean, the games just go on and on depending on what you're wanting to search for, whether it's an emulation, Neo Geo games, Windows games, whatever you're wanting to play here. So we can go into a category like RPG and we can just scroll all the way down. We've got 198 of options here of games that we can install. So you're, you're not gonna run out of games to play here anytime. And again, some of these are Linux based, some of these are emulators, some of these are uh, Windows based games, etc. So that's how simple it is to use Lutris. I love this, that somebody's created a solution for this to take all your games and put them into a single tool. Now, as far as uh, using the tool, it's very easy. It's got a nice interface here with all the runners and those are the different uh, various platforms that it's pulling from. So you can also put browser-based games in here as well. And you can see we've got register our account, synchronize, import, 
manage the runners that we have. And here are some of the runners that you can install, like Adventure Game Studio, Atari Emulator, Citra, uh, Dolphin. I mean, it just goes on all of these emulations, and they're continuing to add to this tool. They also have a Patreon, so consider going out there and supporting it. The main developer calls himself Strider. I couldn't pronounce his actual name, so I'm thinking he's a Lord of the Rings fan. But either way, he's awesome in my book because he's created this tool. Go check it out. Go download it. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.